Be your best, be your best. You can do it, be your best. Bio means beauty in Japanese. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello! And if you're coming back, thank you! My name is Laura, here on B.O. Best Beauty. I love to talk about Japanese and Korean cosmetics, but realistically, anything I can get my hands on, put my face in it. I want to do that and tell you guys about it. Okay, so let's get right into today's topic. So today I want to talk, and if you see me looking down, that's where the script is, okay? So, I'm gonna be reading off a script. And today I'm gonna be talking about the, let me unreal this. This is the Regeneration Shield Cream by Arston. To be honest, I don't know a lot about this brand, but let me tell you, let's start off on why I bought this product. So I bought this product because this Korean YouTuber that I mentioned a lot on my channel, if you've seen my videos before, you probably know who it is. Yes, the correct answer is Hugh. Okay, so Hugh, I love his videos, and legit, this guy will be like, this is great and I will go off and buy it. I won't do no research. I'll just be like blindly. I will buy it. But so far, I bought this because of him and I bought the Mikuhara and they were both great. So I think I will continue to blindly follow his thing. Uh, that's why I bought it. Next, let's get into the info of this cream. Okay, so this cream, I bought it on Q10 and Q10 is a uh, it's said to be like the eBay of Japan. So you can get a lot of uh, Korean products there for like decent prices. I bought products, I'm not trying to give no shade because I'm trying to get a sponsorship someday. There is, for example, a store in Koreatown in Tokyo that I bought a product from and then I found it online for a lot cheaper. So just so you know, if you're in Japan, you it, the site is only in Japanese, but if you can navigate in Japanese, then yeah, it's a really good resource. The only thing is a lot of the products do come from Korea directly. So it's going to take time for it to get to your house. It could take a week. It could take two weeks. It could take a month. You never know. But that's the joy of uh, purchasing from Q10. Also, Q10 has this thing called the Mega Wadi, and the Mega Wadi is held four times a year. Mega means mega and then wadi is the wadi from wadi biki um which means discount so it's a mega discount and yeah four times a year what they do is that they give um over the period of 12 days they give you nine coupons that are each worth 20 percent but some stores will on top of the 20 percent that is given by the like whatever the mega wadi application they will give you store coupons uh, so you'll you be able to use the Mega Wadi coupon and then it'll be the in-store coupon so you can get like amazing deals. It's honestly, this is why I have no money. Well, no, it's because I have no self-control. A little bit of both? Mostly no self-control. Okay, so getting back to this cream. So when I bought this cream, I bought it for 4,480 yen and it came with one full-size tube of this. I mean, it's, you see, I, I, I used this to the very last. I used this to the bitter end. This was honestly a really great cream. This tube, by the way, I believe that this tube is aluminum, which I heard is better for preserving ingredients or certain ingredients. And a side note, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure, that the COSRX, the 0.1 retinol tube is also made of like a similar, not fabric, whatever, similar like material. I think it's also an aluminum thing. Cause I do remember that I saw this video by Sue Beauty. Like it had it like busting out the sides and that happens, tends to happen with metal. Like when you fold it over and over again, that, um, it, you know, sometimes it'll just break and like stuff will come out. I did not have this issue. I'll, honestly, I saw her video and I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna happen with this one, but it didn't happen. So I'm very glad that that happened. Um, so I think it's a very similar material. So getting back to the stuff, it came with one full size cream of this, which this has 50 grams. It also came with a 10, it's the same exact cream, but uh, just a 10 gram sample size. And then it also came with three mask packs, which actually have them. These are the mask packs. And it's interesting because they are, um, it's a cream wrapping mask is what it says. So it's not like one of your regular, and I feel it and it feels dry. It doesn't feel like there's liquid inside. So this is gonna be a very interesting experience. And if you see here, it has like the directions. It says like the wrapping layer, what else? The sheet layer sheet layer and then the cream layer so it sounds very interesting when i try this out i will let you know but it came with three of those now we're going to take a purposeful sidetrack so you can 
purchase this product in Japan. You don't necessarily have to purchase it through Qten. You can purchase it through Amazon, for example. So we're gonna do some some purposeful side tracking. This cream, yes, I bought it in Qten, and then this came over from Korea. But you can purchase this product in Japan. So you can buy it. You can purchase it through the Arston store, or you can even purchase it through Amazon. But it will cost. 6,000 yen for just this one tube and it doesn't come oh and by the way the package of all the things that I explained earlier it also came with this like metal thingy that you can put into things and then like do do the squeezy tubey thing so the reason why it costs 6,000 yen for one tube versus like 4,480 yen for all of this amazing stuff is because the official name for the Japanese version that is sold within Japan is I believe it's called the Shiruku Cream. It's called the Silk Cream. And the one that I bought, I believe, is the version that they sell in Korea. So it's not technically an official product here in Japan, and that's why you can buy it for cheap. So if you're thinking, why pay that much money for one tube when I can pay two-thirds of that and get all of this other stuff is because you run the risk of because it's not an official product in Japan so if anything were to happen you're technically importing it you're doing Kojin Yunyu I believe is what it's called you're it's a personal person that you're importing it so if anything happens with the product there's no one that you can go to and complain and be like hey this product caused this thing on my face because you imported that project uh you imported that product personally um, sometimes also when you buy from products that are not the Kosiki shop or the official store whatever it may be be it nature republic be it Arston, be it you know something else then yeah you run the risk of getting fake products and so when i have these products i saw that it had this little sticker this little holographic this little holographic sticker and i was like looks official enough to me so i used it and i haven't had any problems thank you jesus but just keep that in mind okay so getting back on track next we're gonna cover the ingredients okay Okay, so for transparency's sake, I don't have the box for this product. I threw it away a long time ago. Like, almost immediately the day I got it, I was like, rip, 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 throw away. And, but I do believe that because that's the version that's sold in Korea, then the ingredients would have been written in Korean anyway. And my Korean isn't anywhere near the level where I could read ingredients yet. So I got my ingredients uh, information from NC Decoder. Take a look at two cool things that are touted, tooted, toot toot on the package. And they are actually right here. So if you see here, it says EGF and Leposome. EGF, I'm not a scientist, but I just, I can use the Google. So I Googled this and this is the information that I found. EGF stands for Epidermal Growth Factor. And then according to Trusty Wusty Wikipedia, uh, EGF is a protein that stimulates growth. One site that I got a snippet of says that EGF stimulates skin growth at a cellular level. So generally speaking, uh, that sounds great. So, you know, it's it's a nice little boop to have in your creams. Yeah, the, the but the site that I found that on, when I click on it, then it says access denied. And I'm like, suspicious and then next are the liposome or laposomes according to this paragraph from nomige.com i don't know how you read that i'm i'm gonna read it nomige liposomes are a tiny bubble made out of the same material as a cell membrane they are used as a delivery system to carry active ingredients and cosmetic products in the deeper layers of the epi dermis so these two products you know sound like very fancy ingredients that probably cost more money to like put into a product than your standard run-of-the-mill regular ingredient delivery vehicles if I'm making any sense okay let's move on to the next thing so as far as actual ingredients so I'll introduce what I thought was interesting based on the description from NC Decoder I'm not gonna go over each of the function for each individual ingredient because we'll be here for a really long time for the purposes of me not having to edit a lot I'm gonna show you or omit the full details of each ingredient so here is a list of ingredients that I was like ooh so they got bifida ferment lysate panthenol argon oil adenosine trellahose this is just a section of me trying to pronounce things anatol allantoin squalene cholesterol ceramide and to the p shea butter caffeine and lactic to the acid so overall just based on a brief overview of the list and the delivery system which remembers the liposomes and the egf things sound so far so good so next we're gonna go on to how this cream feels so this cream feels light but moisturizing and it feels like it actually 
penetrates the skin over time versus for example I used the Anua cream last year and then that one is weird because it feels light but thick at the same time and it would feel like okay you put it on your face but then when I would wash it off in the morning it felt like I was washing all of the cream that I put on my face into the water so admittedly my face did feel very soft when I used that cream but it also just didn't feel like it penetrated my face versus this one when I put it on and then I wake up the next morning it doesn't feel like I still have it on my face it feels like it actually got into the skin and did what it was supposed to do maybe that's the liposomies maybe that is the E to the G to the F I don't know but it was great regardless it spreads on the cream spreads on super easily and it doesn't have a heavy feeling even when I would use it I believe that I've used it um, underneath like Vaseline to slug and that was it still worked out great I have very dry skin so I experienced um, breaking out from Vaseline and putting it Vaseline over a cream but again listen to your skin and monitor your things as it goes to try and because each each skin is individual skin individual okay that's what we is um next is how long I used this cream for so I check my Instagram because I track I keep track of all the products it is that I use um I try to keep records as best as possible sometimes you put in a product that you didn't use that day sometimes you forget to put in a product okay you know it's not perfect but i try to do the best that i can and so looking at the information that i put in for this one for the 10 gram sample size and the full size cream i got approximately 74 times if i remember correctly it was like 20 times for the sample size cream so it was like 20 days hold up ooh, ooh. no so it was like 24 times for wait that doesn't make any sense because if it was 10 grams and I used it 24 times and then for the full size it was 50 grams but the full size was 50 grams and the sample size was 10 grams but I would have only been able to use that twice as long that don't make no dang sense okay so I honestly have no idea what happened there but this cream with the common I could have just used more cream with the bigger size at one point towards the end I was like I want to move on to the next cream. I'm gonna use this faster so I, I do know that I tend to do that and also I do believe that I put this on my mom sometimes so that could have contributed to the amount of times to the disparity I don't know but definitely probably I just use more cream using the full size but okay let's don't come at me I really can't do math okay so I did my best. Yeah, so I applied approximately 74 times. So with the 10 grams, so with the total of 60 grams, if I applied it 74 times, then that's like what two months two months is 60 approximately 60 days and then plus 14 days so two months and two weeks so two months and a half that I was able to use this cream again it was 4,408 yen so that's not bad. Finally, my overall review of this product. I think it is a very good cream. I also, actually, before I forget, I really appreciated the fact that I was using this with Retinal, which the Retinal by Nature Republic, it didn't, like, they didn't fight, it didn't cause any issues, like, Gekuni, like, conversely, I was expecting potentially for there to be some, because, you know, when using Retinals and stuff and using Retinols, your skin could get irritated and blah, 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 do all of this crazy stuff. I didn't have that really so i attribute i personally attribute whether it was the case or not i have no idea but i attribute it to this cream because this is the cream that i used the whole time that i was using the retinol thing by nature republic so this it was great 10 out of 10 i would purchase it again at the price that i purchased it at with all of the little goodies knowing what i know it'd be you know it i'd be hard pressed to buy pay six thousand yen for just one cream like why am i gonna pay that much more money i would run the risk of potentially getting a false item bamboozled okay so you're running the risk of potentially getting bamboozled but the rewards you know high risk high return just okay we're playing that game so i would definitely look into this product i believe that you can buy it in the states i will show a screenshot here and uh yeah that's it for today's video if you like this kind of content please remember to like and subscribe and if you want to leave a comment with any kind of questions or any kind of like concerns or if you just want to say hi go ahead and say hi if you want to just leave a period you can go ahead and leave a period just be like period that'll help out our algorithm that'll be so great anyway i hope you have a great day god bless remember be your best hey that's not as cute hey